Uh, we were talking about the sexual harassment suit against Madison Square Garden and, I, and Isaiah Thomas, and mm-hmm. and she was awarded uh, eleven and a half million dollars. Half mil based on what? That's what. Oh, uh, what? Actual rape victims don't get money like that. That's, no, but Patrice, no. when I heard it was eleven and a half million, I'm thinking that some kind of you know uh, uh, was going of on. Of course, some kind of. Uh, uh. You're right. And maybe the you know the bad one. Uh, uh. It wasn't the bad one. It was just it was just it was just set up. It was like just if, dumb yeah. little words. You, let me tell you something. Harassment evolves like anything. Like liquor. <laughs> you don't yep. start off going, hey, this, I'm gonna put my face right there. Good morning, <laughs> girl. I just met. Here's what I where I'm gonna bite, and here's what I'm gonna touch. <laughs> It it starts off with hey what's happening baby how you feeling you know good to meet you and they have, oh you look good today maybe a month later you're looking mm-hmm. good guys restrain this is the thing that pisses me off about ladies right now you don't I'm driving up the street you know in my giant truck and mm-hmm. you know some lady some Puerto Rican girl cuts me off and gives me that man look of what you gonna do that protective and the only thing that protects her is my restraint (laughs) that's why you exist is that i don't take my truck and do a police cut off (laughs) get out of the car punch through your window like the terminator (laughs) and drag you around the street and say to myself here's my thing i have to argue with myself am i gonna go to jail for throwing this woman through a window or am i am i gonna just do nothing like i'm gonna do right you understand what i'm saying and she knows that and she knows she knows that she knows the odds are in her favor that uh you ain't getting out of that car and she can't say sir Thank you. I didn't cut you off. Uh, it, it wasn't personal. I just did what I was going to do to anybody. Right. And I understand you're six four, three hundred pounds, and I'm just just little Puerto Rican girl, and you could kill me. <laughs> and I appreciate you restraining your actual madness and and allowing me to exist on this earth instead of giving you the the entitled face and that face of you. <laughs> and that's what happens when you go to work. It's unfair. You know, here's what what you start doing if you if you if you own a company. Make women come dressed as a Teletubby. No sexuality. <laughs> you don't know it's a woman except for the fact. <laughs> That she's under a Teletubby costume where I'm not forced to have to. And I say this once, dude, is like. Uh, oh, here's the latest one? No. Oh, my no. God. Did you see her? Oh, my. Who the hell sexually harassed her? She's the latest one now that's uh, suing. And could I say it? Because I don't want you guys to get it. Oh, trouble. go ahead. Go ahead. She is a mess. A mess. <laughs> she looks like a mixture between Florida from Good Times <laughs> and James from Good Times. <laughs> Nobody's harassing her. And you know what? James, I was sexually <laughs> harassed today. <laughs> Down at work. <laughs> the boss pinched my ass. What happened, baby? Yeah. I was sexually harassed, James. She should be happy that she's harassable. JJ, I was sexually harassed. What happened, Mama? Well, I was just walking around the office and someone said hi. <laughs> that ain't sexual harassment. James, yes it is. <laughs> like anyone would sexually harass Florida. It, it, she said it looked like I had wheelbarrow inner tubes around my neck. <laughs> <laughs> she was a mess. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, She's a mess. Be real. Yeah. Be real. No uh, one harassed you. Wow. So it has I'm to stop. To harass me, Jane. <laughs> well, she said she did it for all women, but uh, and I argue oh. the point that that's just going to make a lot of bosses out there hire less women. I'm not, I'm not hiring. Let me. We refuse to work with a woman on this radio show. A lot of consultants say. You know, you should hire a woman. It'll balance out some things. You'll, you know, it'll it'll protect you from certain uh, yeah. certain special interest groups and this and that. It'll be a nice balance to the radio show. I'm like, screw that. Hire a tough gay guy if you want that effect. Right. <laughs> a gay guy who can fight and and, and can defend himself against harassment. <laughs> harassment. You know what? Having women and men work together in certain it's like, and I say, it's like having a grizzly bear work with salmon dipped in honey. <laughs> and, the, and the salmon walks in and goes, "Hi, grizzly bear," and you're like. Mm. And then every day she's coming in, with, and then she gets comfortable with you. She mm-hmm. talks to you. She even talks to you about what's, what her problems are that day. She talks to you about what she's going through. Right. She gives you a little bit of a, 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 of a vibe that you don't a know about. Vibe. It should be one day a year. It should be sexual harassment day. It should be a day. <laughs> Just to blow off all that steam. You know, where you go. How about instead of casual Fridays, it's sexual it's harassment It's sexual harassment Fridays. day. One day. Because you you work with women that you go, God, I I bet you she's a whore. I bet you she would do something in the broom closet with me. 
And you just get one day to ask. Just to ask, would you? Well, and here's something that's really, really important. Yeah. Cleavage is a turn-on, not a fashion statement. Right. It's a sexual thing. They get to... Women, women can live their sexuality. Right. Can I tell you how my... I got to tell you how my girlfriend got me to sleep. She was... She, we hung around with, to, with each other a long time mm -hmm. before we did anything. And she finally was getting frustrated that I wasn't doing anything. So, long story short... How she got me to sleep with her, she went upstairs, she invited me up, she went to take a shower, wore, wore a t-shirt, went in front of the TV to pick something up, and, and the t-shirt went up, and I saw everything. All of a sudden, it becomes like an x-ray. So I'm like, I'm like okay, I, she wants me to, because I saw everything. And I'm sitting there going, this is the freedom they have to assault us like this. <laughs> where if I bent over and all my balls was just swinging. <laughs> And my and my and the other thing was showing. Right. I get I, that if that was my way of getting some, we'd be killed. Yeah, of I'd course. be arrested. Yep. But they get to freely do what they do, and at the same time, we have to restrain. That's what I'm saying. The the movement is due to my letting you. Mm -hmm. It is. We restrain ourselves, and they hey. give us no credit for that. You don't start off by going in, hey, if you're a girl, I'm going to go, oh, boy, look at your blonde locks. I like to grab them and shove your head in. in, in, yeah. in right, 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 right. It starts off with, hey, how are you? And, hey, how you doing? Hey, good to see you. Yeah, you and never then, go right to Z. You don't you go gotta to You got to start Z. at A. There's a level you get to when you just go. With, and then here's the thing. Here's how it starts. She always ups it. A notch. It's playing along. With the, I see it happening here with little, uh, what's her name? Doing the little in between breaks. Good job, booby dooby dooby. <laughs> rubbing your, rubbing shoulders. And you want my, one of my great massages? Oh, that feels great. Can I get one of you? Sure. And you, and, and you're careful at first. And then she goes, oh, God, that, that feels good. That's my spotty. <laughs> this is, this is three months in. You know what I mean? Then the sixth month in is she, give me one of those massages. And then it gets a little more sensual. She's just, uh, ooh. And you're sitting there fighting your madness to first grab her around the top of her neck and go, you like that, huh? And then <laughs> <laughs> the second is to stop it from rising. You know what I mean? Because it's getting there. So then the, the ninth month comes in, okay? She gives you yours, you give her hers. She's sitting on your lap, and that hotness in that area is just, you feel some energy. Then one day you go, okay. All right, I guess she wants it. Okay. Or I'm going to try this now. Time I'm, to make the move. And then time you realize. Time to make the move. You don't know the rules that she was only going to go this far. I bet. Ready? Here it is. I bet you. Man, I bet you those look. They look. Are those real? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. What? What did you just say? Did you ask me if my breasts were real? <laughs> I. But the, I, I. And you're up to calling each other nicknames by now. <laughs> right. He, you know, Isaiah will probably calling that lady. Hey, big draws. She calls <laughs> big him. Draws. What's up, my little point guard from the '80s? <laughs> I bet you're swinging like one of them '80s ones, ain't it? Big draws, bitch. Hey, was probably like big a, draws, a, bitch. a term of endearment. I think, BDB. I think yeah. Isaiah is more pissed off that his friends are thinking that he thought this broad was hot. Yeah, was was actually harassable. When he's, when he's on the golf course with his buddies, they, he's like probably going, "Doesn't this bitch know what I get on I the side?" Touch he her. messed up. The, you do you realize that's why they have women like that around? Those got those are the sexual harasser. They're the harassees. Yep. You gotta be able to just say it to somebody. Mm -hmm. You gotta get that steam off. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying, dude. It's gonna happen. Women gonna wonder why no one's hiring them, and you can't prove it's it's, it's you can't make a person hire you. The only thing right. you can do is once you're hired, you pull this stuff. But you, a guy could go, you're not qualified. She said she did it for all the women oh, that have to go to work in the oh. morning and want a, a job. She screwed over so many women Absolutely. by doing this. Less women will be hired because of this. What Privilege. guy? Absolutely. What guy is now gonna want to go through that crap? Yeah. Uh, when he has to fire a woman. Uh, and she's just going to go into court and go, oh, this one said this. You this got bosses all over America going, 11 and a half million for what? For a few words? What? If you yeah. look at the news now, whatever this girl is, it's just a little bit, a little bit of meat, a little bit of breast meat. Right. 
is that's sexuality, man. And it's like for me to just not say something, you're being unfair. Oh, we should be able to have to come to work. Yes. Yeah. That guy has a tie. He probably has a nice chest. I don't walk around with some of my nipple like, out or... Right, you, you, well, Fabio shirt on. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, because it's just the meat. Men have a... Vi all we have we're to all, do is visual. look at one thing and create the rest. Create. Right. When I see a girl that still has... You don't see it much anymore, but if I catch a glimpse of two things, woman like plumber, booty, cleavage, if I catch a girl with just that bit of... The butt crack showing. You know how to. She bends down to pick up a little you dog. You can or fill in the all the blanks and make an image of her ass in your yeah, head. I created it already. And yeah. some women, I don't know if white women have it, but black girls have it still sometimes. There's a hairline mm -hmm. from the belly button down to the thing. Right. To the thing. To the thing. All right. And it just, it's, it's just like, ooh. Oh, now I just created your entire bottom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we got a woman on the line here from Colorado, Kristen. Kristen, what's up? Hey, fellas. Love you, Patrice. Thank nice you. to have you back on the air. This Thank is you. not sexual harassment. This is foreplay. Let's call it what it is. For, for play how like well what uh, Isaiah was possibly saying to her oh like like they I just don't believe in sexual harassment at mm -hmm. foreplay. play boys and girls men and women play that game yeah there's and always that so sexual like tension at work uh, so what when protects you're... us from you like like here's the thing what's fair is that I think the fact that a a dude who would jump out of a bush and grab a woman and and take her humanity yeah the fact that women can't do that it may be that this is ultimate justice because they can't just do that to to a man right like generally can't come out and give me give me some and he's just crying please don't make yeah me yeah do well, this to rape. you and it, right but that's what i'm saying you can't like rape us for the most part so i think that this is a way of kind of making it fair that false accusations can be put on men and that's the almost I don't, it's not as bad, but it's just, if you go to jail for the rest of your life mm -hmm. for something you didn't do, or you lose your job and you have that stigma, that is as bad to a man as the actual rapist to a woman, I would imagine. I, I, and, I, and I'm not comparing it. I'm yeah. just only saying how you would feel. I remember when this uh, sexual harassment thing really started getting some legs, uh, and it was all about the fact that bosses were intimidating women... Uh, through some kind of sexual behavior uh, and using that to give them promotions and raises. Come on in here. I'll tell you, you, you want the promotion? You're going to have to earn it. Out of 10 and, jobs. And, that's, and, and, and that's like the type of thing that was sexual harassment. This uh, little playful crap around the office or having a nude or semi-nude picture pinned up in your cubicle that she sees when she passes by, that isn't sexual harassment. Absolutely. That's called life on the job and deal with it. For, for crying out loud, women... Get over it. All right, Kristen. Thank you. Hey, later. All right, peace. Let's say hi to uh, Momo. <laughs> Momo. Hey, Jamal, how are you doing this morning? Pretty good, Momo. Hey, uh, the sexual harassment we're talking about with the Isaiah Thomas thing, that whole playful banter, that has been in the workplace for years with men. It's all part of the competitiveness that men have with each other. The reason we do that with women is because we're treating them as equal. It's not because we're sexual or uh, chauvinists or we're you know trying to demean them. We're just treating them like we would treat any other guy. I don't see. That's the, I have a, it's the syndrome of these women teachers going to jail for sleeping with young teenage boys, and and men aren't outraged at all. Like no guy goes. She should go to jail. Like that hot teacher that sleeps with a fourteen-year-old boy. We go, what a that fourteen-year-old boy must got we a all, big rap. He must know how to talk to women. Or, but, uh, or we all think, where was she when we were growing up? Exactly. We, we don't, don't. That's the only thought in our head. I don't think we're thinking is equal. If I'm harassing a chick at the yeah. workplace, it's it's sexual, but you want her to want you. That's the thing. Nobody wants to make a woman feel uncomfortable. You want her to go, ooh, you know. Thank you, Momo. I guess. Let's go to Kelly in Jersey. Kelly. Hi, guys. Hey. I just wanted to see what uh, Patrice's opinion was. I basically tried to get a job within a specific field, and I was told flat out by this guy that worked in the department, you'll never get hired because you're a girl. Now, right. is that sexual harassment? All right. What was, no. the, what was the job and what was the field? 
It was an IT job. Uh, what Where's is the sexuality in that? Well, the that's, F, that's, that, that, that's gender harassment, maybe, but that ain't sexual harassment. Yeah, sexual discrimination, maybe. Yeah. Where's the sex? Really? Where's the sex? There's yeah, no the sex? You're not being harassed. You're being told you can't get a job because of uh, who you are. Yeah, where's discrimination, right? Yeah, discrimination. Yes. Where's the ass pinch? Yeah, you need that. In the scenario. You need the 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 folded pointer finger, <laughs> and then the thumb, and you gotta squeeze your ass a little. Where's the hey toots <laughs> wink? <laughs> right. Toots. You're the reason, not you, because she sounds nice, but women Where's who the... think this certain way is the reason why I got to look at ugly stewardesses. <laughs> Where, what happened to coffee to me? You. I got to look at some hag that I go, have you been working since <laughs> since the 70s? Or they just hired a mess like you with a bouffant hairdo and your married wedding ring and no sexuality Patrice, at all. we did a whole break uh, a couple of weeks ago, maybe not even that long on stewardesses and what they used to look like and how the airlines commercials back uh, uh, in the 70s they were and early sex. 80s were selling, selling their stewardesses. As coffee, of that. tea, or, or me. me. And they would go like, I'm, I'm, Ohio Hi, Club. I'm Christine, fly me. Fly me to Florida. You know, you got it's it, like, baby. fly me. Now it's just... Like you said, older women, it's, and which, it's not you know, even older, sexy, because I can get with a MILF thing. I yeah, could, sure. But it's the, it's just sterile like everything else. It's yeah. like, you know, call, you want your apple juice or you want your Bloody Mary. And then it's like, yeah. I'm going to and then it's like I'm going to the bathroom and then the pilot decides to go. And it's just some ugly woman putting they got the thing now where the. The ugly stewardess protects the pilot now. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down, you can't piss because the pilot is pissing. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where are the sexy stews? Here's an example. This is Fly Maggie. We got it? Yeah. All right, here we go. Listen to this, Patrice. They were just selling sex. I'm Maggie. Fly me to New York. You love my two 747s to Kennedy. Fly me. Fly Maggie. National. You know what fly is. Uh, I, wait, my, my, my two, two 747s, my 747s, baby. And fly my hairy Cessna. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it right there. It stays on the air. Very good. My two 747s. <laughs> Why does it have to That's be That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why do you have to mention two? Why two seven forty sevens? What happened? Yeah. And I was like, hi, I'm Ethel. Uh, we might be late, <laughs> so get there early because the air is messing up for everybody. Goodbye. Take your seats, please. We're on an active taxiway. Yeah. All right. Where's Where's Maggie, Maggie and her Where's two seven forty seven? And we all know what fly means. Oh, uh, yeah. Give me a. Come on and fly me. But Believe me, we know. Wrong? It starts at the same letter. Yeah, it's why another F is word. That wrong because why is it wrong when there's some seed it's that it, it's integrity some women yeah. should have integrity no why it's some wrong. women shouldn't some no, don't know why it's wrong because yeah. we allowed them to vote <laughs> is that where, yes. where it all went bad uh, it all went bad <laughs> i think the uh, women's movement <laughs> the women's movement the the women's lib thing that we all laughed at with the bra burning and stuff uh actually got some momentum and uh, uh, people caved in to the point where Not people say that's the wrong word. Who caved in? Men. Men. Not people. Because why? Why aren't there young, sexy stewardesses now? Because they know if they hire them, they're gonna not hire an older woman that is then gonna turn around and sue them for not hiring them. But they should look. Uh, uh, here's the thing. Here's the deal I make. The uh, old lady is the head of. The, the plane. She's Make her the, the matron. That sits there on the phone and goes, hey, everybody. The madam. That's it. She, exactly. Like a little plane hoe house. Right. Where... <laughs> All right, let's uh, get, we got to talk to a few more women here. We got Michelle in Florida. Michelle. Hi. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Yeah, yeah, I get sexually harassed all the time at my work. Uh, um, in what way? I work, with a, I work with a guy, a bunch of guys that drive those uh, ready mix cement mixer trucks. Cement. Cement, yep. Yep. Yeah. And I had one grab my head while rubbing his privates, and he tried to shove my head down on his privates. So I had another one grab me and kiss me. Another one reached between my legs while I'm climbing up some now, steps. You sound happy, though. Now, why would someone do this out of nowhere? Um, I, I don't know. I 
I keep they just them started. I'm married, I'm dressed in a uniform, I don't look sexy at all. Wait, she doesn't look sexy at all, because we wanted to find out, and she wears a uniform That's every day. There was no out. vibe being put out, or it didn't yeah. start out as some kind of, like, uh, verbal thing, and... Are you married? Yeah, yeah, I'm married. Does your yeah, husband do all of that to you at, ho at home? Yeah. They've even met my husband and everything. No, but does your husband do that to you? All that does he harass you? <laughs> does he do what? You heard me. Does he harass you? Does he, does yeah, he does make he you feel like the object that these guys make you feel like? What now? Uh, oh, boy. Oh. You know what? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we weren't being hurt by a million, we would uh, yeah. we'd yep. stick with That's it. That's what it we is. We would try to stick this yep. out. Yep, yep. She, you, you, no, you, it, she enjoys it. Are you enjoying this? Like, is this something you're not getting at home, I guess, is what Patrice is getting at. Oh, no, I get plenty at home. I have. I don't need any of this mess. So why do you put up and with I, it? <laughs> and I report these guys, too, and they don't care. So quit. But I need my job. I mean, take them. You'll get eleven million dollars if you just sue right now. <laughs> no, yeah, but right? I, I don't have proof. No, because it has to be a high-profile case, not some dummy that works with cement guys. So you go in every day and get touch <laughs> funny and attacked, like she's being attacked. Like yeah. if this was the yeah. story Isaiah's girl was saying, it'd be different. Yeah. Right. So you get attacked every day, and your husband says to you, "What when you leave every day? Go get him, Tiger." Yeah. Do you? Uh, do you tell your husband what went on at work? Yeah, he says he's going to go kill them. But he doesn't. Yeah, why doesn't he? And you continue going to work. Because I need my job. But he doesn't go, hey, my attacked wife, quit, and I'll uh, we'll figure it out. Just put some mouse traps in your uniform. How much do you get an hour? <laughs> <laughs> how often do I work? No, how much do you I get don't... an hour? How much money? Oh, I make about a thousand a week. Damn. That's all right. That's McDonald's manager. Go to... <laughs> all right, Michelle, we got to go. <laughs> yeah, you're, so. you're obviously getting harassed, but for some reason, you're just putting up with it. So yeah. What could I tell you? Let's go to Jenny in Maine. Jenny, what's up? Grabs a head. Hey. <laughs> I know. No kidding. <laughs> like, hold on. To the, hold on. Hold on. How do you do hold that? On. Just... <laughs> yeah, because the women out there, they're thinking we're just idiots. And we understand what sexual harassment is. When, when someone tells us, grabs our head and pushes down while right. I'm rubbing my privates. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that woman's putting up with like, like pretty much rape. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not attractive. I don't understand. Yeah, why. I wear a uniform. What? Pretty much rape through clothes is what's going on with <laughs> yeah. her. Being raped every day at work. Let's mm -hmm. go to Jenny. We got another one here. Jenny. <laughs> Hey, before I start, I just want to say it sounds like Michelle's working with some prison release program. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Something's going on there. So what do you got, Jenny? All right, I worked for an orthopedic surgeon, really high, best one in the state. And uh, basically every morning, everyone in the office got really big, unwanted hugs. And he would walk up behind us and give us really big back massages all day long. Oh, unwanted hugs Ugh. and yeah. back massages. Yeah, and he was like six foot six. You, you really couldn't, like, squirm out of it. <clears throat> but can I ask you this? It, it, okay, I'm 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 a big dude. If I start rubbing a woman and she does the oh god wiggle, you know, yeah, like uh, uh, oh the uh, like the, did he shake say you to off you, where the shoulder he, goes up and the, and hits the side of the head but, like? But uh, did he say to you if I touch <laughs> you? I mean, if I touch you and you and you make and you're uncomfortable, I am gonna fire you. Has he ever right. said to you that you're gone if he can't touch and hug you? No. So then how is that harassment? And what's his intentions, you think, in the end? Uh, well, he made it very clear to all the women working in the office that he was unhappy at home. Oh, and that he was thinking about filing for divorce. <laughs> wow. And I was actually the first woman to quit, so I don't know how far it went. But, but did you tell him, don't <laughs> touch me before you quit? Yeah, how about that? Yeah, I did. I sat down in his office and I, I had the what for with him. And he said, no, I'm going to continue to touch you. <laughs> I didn't give him the chance. Yeah, no, at that point, then it's just awkward for everybody, and you got to get the hell out of there. Not, if, That's sexual harassment right there. It, but but it, it, it's, there's a place, you know what I'm saying? It, it's like I'm not going to just say every woman is not being harassed, but there's like a thing where you go, look, man, stop touching me, and you just go to work. Do yeah. you need to have... Your boss be your buddy? Like, is he gonna, what is he gonna do besides, like, you know, he might fire you in the future, but if you go, that makes me uncomfortable. Can you give him a chance to be an adult and go, yeah, sorry about that, and then continue yeah, to see, work with instead you? Instead of right away just taking him to court. I think that's, 
I think that's the problem, because when you do turn around and say, I'm sorry, you know what, that's unwanted, and I don't want to hear about your problems at home, immediately everything in the workplace changes, because now you're... But you, you're, you're, you're presuming that, because here's the same presumption that you're doing on him that he doesn't get to do is the fact that you may be a whore. <laughs> you might like big man orthopedic because he works with his hands. He knows where to touch. So maybe you feel good. He's giving, give him two seconds to maybe have you like it. And then you go, nah, I'm not digging it. And he, and he can be mature enough to go, nah. All right, I'm sorry about that. I didn't, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. You didn't give him a chance. All right, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> yep. right. Imagine the guy, the guy, like her coming up to him and saying that, and the guy just kind of smiling and going, "All right, look, you got me. Like th those were my intentions. I was hoping for something a little more, but since you're on to me and everything, I I'll leave you alone. But let me continue around the office because there might be a whore. Is that unfair? That comes in. I'll leave you alone. You'll work. I'll never touch you and, again. And here's the thing that, that this is why that bothers me. Because <clears throat> we, a lot of times, you know, the average man just wants a little peace, you know? And it keeps me from having to come to you in this I am so enamored with you. Can I take you out to dinner? Respect move. Where <laughs> all I want to do is put you <laughs> on the table. <laughs> so it's like to keep from harassing you, I go, look, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. This yeah. whole speech. And it's like, listen, I would like to take you out for some drinks and blah, blah, blah afterwards. And no, 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 I'm not going to try to pull your skirt up. And, blah, 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 blah. and then, and then, you know, you got to be in a relationship with this mess. <laughs> Just to get some. <laughs> Let's go to Mark in Bay Ridge. Mark, what's up? Hi. You know, I, I wanted to make a point, too, that sometimes you get re reverse um, uh, harassment, sort of, where you get, like, a boss lady that worked her way up, and now she's sort of got a thing in for when, when guys are, are her underling and they work for her. Power trip have a thing, yeah. boss, you know what I mean? I used to come in, <clears throat> used to make me sit down on the chair before I could just hand her something, and then I had to sit down again and then get up, or she'd be standing over me for hours with her breast hanging over the back of my, ne uh, my neck or something like that, and just being what, are you abused. gay? Oh, my God, <laughs> no, that's what I was going to say. No. Like, no, 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 put you out your misery. <laughs> yeah, what the? No, no, she's <laughs> Pull it out. You know how many guys dream of this? <laughs> like, so not, not make that 9 to 5 go by like that. No. There's no such thing as harassment, sexual harassment, with oh, a that's... woman on a man, unless it's, you know, some slob saying, have sex with me or else you won't get a promotion. No, then it's, it's some kind of sexual I... harassment. And it's still discrimination. Because yeah, yeah, then that's harassment. discrimination. All right, I apologize, but I'm just saying that it wasn't, I, I, I used the wrong wording. It wasn't My name's Mark and I have <laughs> like to wear finger nail polish. Um, I like to wear women's dresses. Dresses. Well, wow. dresses. Um, Are you gay, dude? Be honest. No. I'm Mark from Bay Ridge, and I like well, to wear women's dresses. My name is William, and I like to wear dresses. <laughs> dresses. Finger nail polish. Mark. Uh, <laughs> Mark. So why does that bother you? Because she's ugly. Like if she was oh, hot, would it be a different story? We, well, wouldn't it be a different for anybody if it was be. a different story? If it's a, if That's it's fair a enough. Girl? Yeah, but I'm just talking about just like, you know. Fair enough, sir. Sometimes it, ha sometimes it happens. <clears throat> you work for a bad C word type of woman. That's all. Do you uh, still work there? You, yeah. No. You, no. no. I'm about to no, say, because no, they're going to no. know it's you with that voice. <laughs> was you on the radio yesterday saying I'm ugly balls? <laughs> My name is William, <laughs> and I like saying a little polish. Mm, I don't, all man, right, Mark. Sexual harassment. Well, there you story. go. It's just hardcore. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't really. <laughs> she made me. I don't think there's no, a. No. Look, I quit. I. I, I don't think there's a guy out true. there that could tell a, a sexual harassment story with a female boss where they're gonna get our sympathy. Well, it was. Give me one. <laughs> no. Give me one. I, I. It wasn't meant to be that. Sorry for wasting your time. No, oh Mark. Wait, Mark, this guy's gonna Mark, kill himself. Mark, 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 Mark. Don't let him go. Oh my Mark, God. Mark, <laughs> I'm here. Just because we disagree doesn't, you know. Think about that. What would a woman have to do to you for you to just be completely horrified? Make, you know what? Make me strip. It's like, mm. we'll, give you, <laughs> we'll give you your own show on NBC if you get in front of all the women here and you strip on top of a table. And that would horrify you? Because, just because I'm not sexy. 
uh, naked. If you're not if you're not a certain size and you're standing up there just naked, that that could mess with you. If if that was some, I would some, be embarrassed. Yeah, it was. It would and, be embarrassing. A woman yeah. could embarrass me if I let her. She could bring you into her office with some other dude and try to make you do uh, gay stuff. All right, horrified. There you go. That that There's would be example. like horrifying. Yeah. And then you, that wouldn't even horrify because you would look at the dude and go, well, what, what, what about, what, what's wrong with you? What about, uh, you would just move on with your life. Like, yeah, that was one of those things. Like, I got that. touched funny as a kid. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't bother. I look, I think about it. I just laugh about it. It's like, it's just not, it doesn't <laughs> Who bother. Who touched you funny? This guy that owned the car wash. <laughs> <laughs> Working at the car. Wash. Yeah, and I just, we just, he just, I don't, I would have one of those young, you know, my my thing was just sitting there for, for, and he just touched it. He goes, "What you thinking about?" And I go, "Huh?" And I just go, "What happened? Did you just?" <laughs> it was like it wasn't. It didn't bother me to where. The problem was you were thirty years old at the time. That probably was it. <laughs> that old guy. That old guy. No, how old were you really? I was in the. It had to be the age. Just before you could be gay, and just after you go, oh, he was, it was, he was touched. Yeah. So a ten or eleven type of age. <laughs> wow. <Well, it's beautiful. laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> and he just got me. He just, just what you thinking about? I was sitting there laying in the laying backwards, and I was detailing a car, and uh, leaning back, and he would pay ten a lot of money, which back then, which was ten bucks a car. And, uh, you know, I guess it was a different stroke special episode, and he just <laughs> he just rubbed it with the top. With the, like, what, what, with the, just whoa, be careful. With the, just be careful. Okay, I'm But, but basically, yeah. your head stuck under a car. Like, <laughs> yeah. And he just and asked me. The rest was like, he asked me what I was thinking out about. out in the open. What, what you thinking about? And I go, what? What happened? <laughs> All I yeah. did was tell everybody, and then that was it. Like, it just, it, and it didn't, eh, you know, whatever. Right.